wa one viewers and sub dance and agenda bakatite so me say yeah man so the topics that we cover today popcorn need answers vibes cartel see in mash up jamaica and guess what we have a michael jackson get to michael jackson here too and guess what you know we have a spider man <laughs> but people those are the topics that we are cover today but pray you now, if you're new to this channel, please consider liking, sharing, and also subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever we do an upload. So you may say. Alright people, so that was Popcorn Buzz. You see what I say? The latest single from the artist since the the ear cut. You see what I mean? Say? Yeah, man. So talking about popcorn, people. Popcorn need answers. You see what I mean? Say? Popcorn uploaded a short clippings and afterwards remove it. I will play it right now because popcorn ask some questions. Check out Agwan. Yo. Drum me at the public service. GPS, we need answers, you know. Yeah, we need answers. Yeah, you know. I don't know what I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> Job, we need answers. GPS, Jamaica Public Service, Job around there. Real thing, people. Job around there. Job around at GPS. Popcorn, you feel like you asked the right question. You see what I mean, say? But, people. Come to think of it, Vibes Cartel had the same issue in the past in which Vibes Cartel voice is concerned. You get what I mean, say? So we are wonder, is it that Popcorn and Vibes Cartel is experiencing the same thing? Because we see Popcorn and St. Thomas now. So, how could I go on? Jamaica people, more want to tell me if you want to see the JPS, take poor people and take ghetto people and take ghetto youth we have a talent and make a little money and can better them life for them family. You know, see them take with a fool. Real talk, I saw JPS one more while. But speaking about Vibes Cartel, people, Vibes Cartel, been a make them kind of post up on them Instagram page. You see what I say? In regards to current happenings in Jamaica. In terms of Jamaica crime system. You see what I say, people? So right now, I'm going to read a statement with Vibes Cartel, make, and I'm going to elaborate on it. So people, Vibes Cartel made a post of an incident that happened in Linstead in which um, the police um, demolished a, a vendor um, cart with his foods and goods on it that um, he or she was selling. And the person posted and said that um, it was uncalled for, basically, and that the police them behave like, say, oh, them come from rich backgrounds and all of them something down. I see Tyrone cross the screen. You see me say, Vibes Cartel then reply and say, Do not curse the police or the system. It's Vibes Cartel mash up Jamaica. People, Vibes Cartel been at your job at the Jamaica um, Defense Force. Uh, the, just the, the system on a whole. You see me say, we see where Vibes Cartel do it in a recent post. More than one of them. And I'm still a continue to do it because... The system is unjust. You see what I say? The system only gives justice to a certain kind of people. You see what I say? But when it comes on to poor people, the system no business will happen. When it comes on to Vibes Cartel, because Vibes Cartel was a ghetto youth, him born in the ghetto, him grew in the ghetto, but him now rise up and be a star. All the people, a lot, a lot of young youth look up to him. Them decide for use the same unjust um, system against him. People, Vibes Cartel not happy with what happened. Being that he was given 35 years for a crime that he allegedly didn't do. For him not having a fair child in which a majority of the evidence that was provided to the court was tampered with. The main reasons are the main evidence that they used to convict him was tampered with. So the message Vibes Cartel is trying to bring across is that what they convict him for, the system will make it look like the worst thing somebody could have ever done in his lifetime. 
the worst crime will ever happen in Jamaica. So, them make it look like the vibes cartel, or them catch, or them still vibes cartel, I literally I kill the person. That are the message with vibes cartel I bring across. They make it look like say, everything clear. So, vibes cartel do this and vibes cartel do that, in which is not. That are the message Vibes Cartel I try to bring across. So people, wanna think what Vibes Cartel I do? Wanna think Vibes Cartel right for you? So what you must say? People, let me know in the comment section. Wanna think about the system and the image what they might paint against the artist Vibes Cartel? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And if you reach so far in the video, remember to leave a thumbs up just to see him. So right now we are going to move on to the next topic. So that topic I may never really mention in the intro. Coffee, the Grammy artist, the Grammy kid have been featured on John Legend's new album, Bigger Love. You see me I say? So Coffee um, is featured on the album, Don't Walk Away, featuring John Legend. But we know how big this is. We know how big of an artist John Legend is. This is a man with a whole heap of Grammy. And we know how impactful his music is all over the world. So to see Kaffi as the young artist, a young rising talent from Jamaica, getting on a big as an album as John Legend, Bigger Love, we couldn't want nothing more. Well, there's always room for improvement, but this is a great look for Kaffi. This is a great look for, for reggae, dancehall, and Jamaica on a whole. You see what I say? It's a great, great look for the artist. Can't say that no more. So we wish Coffee all the best in the in the um the music endeavors in the future. You see me say because I like the movement. I would like say international artists can recognize the talent. Now true, she win a Grammy, yes. She big, she known all over the world, but it's good and it's a great look that she can be featured on such an album. You see me say people. So now we are gonna move on to the next topic. People. Apparently, Michael Jackson has been risen from the dead. So Jamaica now has a new Michael Jackson. You see what I say? MJ. People want to see my run across the screen right now. Yeah, man. I the new artist thing out of Jamaica. I might get all of the girl them as well. Say. The girl them can't get enough of Michael. <laughs> People, differently. Jamaica is not a real place as well. Say. And... I can tell you some brood of things we are going Jano, Jano. But differently, the kid can dance. Him have the moves, him, him resemble Michael. That's an all just that him and need to touch up a little bit. <laughs> but differently, people, there has been a series of events that go on in Jamaica, including this one. Jamaica has now its own Spider Man people. Wanna see him? Wanna see the things <laughs> where I'm going with? This brother, yeah, him wicked, he need to star some movie or something. Now, sir, Jamaican is them full of too much talent. Nah, man. They need to have this international talent search. Only for Jamaicans. Just the Jamaicans show what they can do. And you would be impressed if you see the amount of talent with the Panda like an Island, your people. Watch them, man. Now, I'm see them something in a movie. <laughs> but people, me not tell a lie. The brother, him skill. You see me? Say, watch that. Yo. People, me not tell a lie. One thing about the Ghetto Jackson and Jamaica Spider Man. Let me know in the comment section. You see me? Say, so we are playing some more clippings. Uh, uh, Jamaican Michael Jackson, so you can check it out. You see what I said? Yeah, man, but we are calling it right so If you're new to this channel, now, if you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys can notify whenever we do an upload. And remember to comment, share the video across all platforms. You see what I said?